I'm Dr. Jong Xiang. I'm a gastroenterologist at Livingstone Digestive and Liver Clinic, Mount Elizabeth Orchard Hospital. I've been practicing medicine for over 15 years, and my clinical interests are gastrointestinal diseases and chronic liver diseases. Most of the liver cancers are diagnosed globally are due to chronic hepatitis B infection, while the rest are due to pre-existing conditions such as liver cirrhosis, which is hardening of the liver due to long-standing inflammation and scarring. It is important to recognize the underlying causes early. For example, you can get screening for chronic hepatitis B and C infection. You can screen for fatty liver, which can also lead to liver cirrhosis. Other important risk factors for increased risk of liver cancer include family history of liver cancer, excessive alcohol use, smoking. Commonly, people don't realize they have hepatitis B or C or liver cirrhosis for many years. So it is important to screen the liver to detect these underlying conditions, therefore reduces your risk to develop liver cancers. So anyone with a family history of hepatitis B or C, you should seek attention with your medical doctors and screen any underlying conditions early. How do we reduce the risk factors for getting liver cancers? Well, we can look at three different areas. First is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And then early medical screening for these risk factors such as chronic hepatitis B or chronic hepatitis C. Control the underlying causes to minimize the risk of progression to liver cirrhosis and developing liver cancers. 